Well, farmers, growers, and gardeners are all preparing for the first frost of the season tonight. Five on your side's Tracy Henson explains how frost impacts our plants. This is the first widespread frost of the season. That's the official word from our St. Louis National Weather Service. We can get frost at temperatures significantly above freezing, um, but generally we're expecting uh, frost most likely at temperatures of 36 degrees or cooler. Um, at that level, you can get temperatures at the ground even colder, just cold enough for some ice to form. And it's that ice that has both professional and hobby growers on alert. The thing you want to protect right now is all your house plants and tropicals that you want to bring in the house for the winter. Mums are so popular in the fall, and some of them need a little protection when we get our frost. Mums that are in full bloom right now, if you don't put a little cloth over them when we have these frost nights, then you might get a little burn on your blooms, and then they don't last as long. But if your mums look like shrubs, you are good to go. You have some late blooming mums, so they're waiting for the cold to start bursting open the blooms. The late bloomers need the frost, but not too much. And those will stay blooming until the end of October. The milder your frost are, the longer your bloom lasts. If you think of the fall as a break time for your gardening, think again. Your trees and shrubs, you can plant those year round. So don't put those shovels away yet. Tracy Henson, five on your side.